Are they cavalry charging my shield castle? You fools! They're gonna get flanked. Right in the buttocks! No! What's going on, everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler, and today we're gonna be going back to a Total War game that was released several years ago now. Oh my gosh. Where's the time going? And just seeing how good Thrones of Britannia is in 2021. Now, I actually think this is one of the least played uh, Total War games on Steam at the moment in terms of all of the releases. Uh, there's only about 500 people playing it, and this is kind of like peak time for Europe when I'm as of time of recording. So that's not a good start. And if you want more of these kind of videos, please do let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favourite Total War is, and leave a like. Any and all engagement helps out the channel, that's why... Every YouTuber asks every single video for engagement. Now, Friends of Britannia, uh, when it was first released or announced, I was super hyped up for it. It's set in one of my favourite periods of British history, during the Anglo-Saxon period in the time of the great heathen armies of Danes and Norse, uh, Vikings coming on over, and wrecking stuff. Uh, I also used to do Anglo-Saxon reenactment uh, back when I was a young whippersnapper of 20, 21 years old. So I was super, super hyped for this. And when it was released, uh, I, I, I kind of had a bit of a meh reaction to it. I would have given it maybe like a five to six and a half out of ten um, if I was to give it a review. There are some great things in the game and I'm looking forward to trying it out again. I haven't actually played it for a couple of years at least, which is a shame for a game which I should have loved. Uh, so join me on this journey and let's see if Friends of Britannia is any good in 2021. Now one thing I love here is the intro soundtrack and just the general aesthetic and art design of Thrones of Britannia. It's freaking gorgeous. Now there are various people that you can play as. You have a choice of the English, the Welsh, the Gales, uh, you've got the great Viking army, and then you've got the Viking Sea Kings as well. Now, where I probably went slightly wrong is playing as uh, Wessex uh, when I played this uh, before, and it was very easy. It felt almost like a steamroll. Uh, I didn't have too much of a problem expanding my, my empire. You're kind of very secure. So today I'm still going to keep it as the English or the, you know, Anglo-Saxons and give it a go as Mercia. Now, this is a normal uh, initial challenge with multiple fronts because you are going to be attacked by the Welsh and you've also got the Norse. Sorry, not the Norse. You've also got the, Vi the great Viking army and their kingdoms here in East Anglia and Northumbria. Now, here we have uh, the cultural features of the English Kingdom, so each one has their own different cultural features, like, such as the Welsh, the Gaels, Vikings, and the Viking Sea Kings. Uh, now, we have uh, Burgle, so taxes are needed to support the army, but whether you're at war or peace will change how the people feel. You have the Feared, which are the part-time soldiers, which are pledged to leave their farms uh, for military service, and you can levy... You can recruit levy units based on the number of owned settlements. Very nice. Uh, and then as Mercia, we can have hordes. We have strong armoured and sword spear infantry and impressive late game cavalry. And plus 10 battle movement speed, all armoured. Oh, that's going to be quite a nice advantage, actually. And if you don't know the history of Mercia, it did used to be... Uh, one of the, it used to be the strongest Anglo-Saxon kingdom in Britannia. However, Mercia has fallen on hard times. The glory days of Offa and Pender are long gone, and Vikings have annexed much of Mercia's eastern territory, which was kind of around here. Uh, Mercia's recent rulers have been accused of both hiding behind Wex, we the West Saxon skirts and of using Mercia's dwindling riches to appease the Vikings. So Cholwulf walks a difficult path, but pride still burns in people's hearts. So let's give it a good old try. Uh... I'll keep everything on probably normal, as I don't, I don't really, oh no, excuse me. I'll keep everything on normal, as I don't really know Friends of Britannia that well. And it gives us a good base game for how the game is experienced for everyone. I do also like that you have tons of different victory conditions, which is very nice. You can have a fame victory, a conquest. Oh, here we go. Very nice. Again, the artwork is, is gorgeous. I, I love the aesthetic. Oh! Oh. The Vikings. These are uncertain times. You will need to stay strong and be aware of those who would take advantage of England's divisions. The Welsh, West Saxa, and the Great Army will ruthlessly exploit any weakness. 
Indeed. My Ursa's future is in your hands now. Prove you are worthy to hold the reins of power and unite Britannia under your banner. One of your armies is garrisoned in your capital, ready to defend it on your order. Your other army is poised to attack the rebels in the north. Eliminate the rebels, then turn your attention to your neighbor. Okay, so uh, with most Total War games, it gives you the setting to, to go out and uh, experience the first turn in a fairly simple way. So there we go. Eliminate the rebels in the caster and we get extra internal stability. Uh, so here we have the basic, you have the income, uh, you have a food surplus. There you go. So you want to keep yourself in a food surplus in this one. So you do need to manage it quite a lot. Uh, otherwise you can have pretty dire consequences. And I believe it's the same with the burgles. So when you're at peace, it's fine. We'll see how that kind of comes on. And then we have... Oh, sorry. So we can have up to 14 feared units. I always like seeing what you can edit. And you can rename... Oh, no. Oh, I'll keep it as the God's Champions. You can rename all the settlements as well. Very nice. Okay, so although it's just a map of uh, the UK and Ireland, it is still really quite large. Like, if you kind of... It's going to take you a while to kind of conquer everything you need to, right? So I also really love the artwork on the on the units, personally. I, I, I love I love this. And as with all Total War games, uh, you have various different buildings uh, in your towns. They're kind of in regions, right? So if I clicked on Stafford, like this is Stafford. Then if I clicked on here, that would be Stock. Uh, like Felder. So you have the main you have the main area, and then you have the villages that surround it, which which make up a province. Uh, kind of like Empire, Total War, which I think kind of works quite nicely, really. So let's go and deal with the rebels. Rebel scum! We shouldn't lose this. They have uh, some scout horsemen. So you will notice that in general, uh, you won't see too many cavalry units because the, the combat, or, or at least battles, uh, in this period were fought mainly with infantry. At least in Anglo-Saxon uh, warfare, it wasn't really that common. But we'll give it a go! Okay, so, uh, something that you'll notice, if I can just, like, move on over. If I select all of my infantry, you'll see that they have the sh uh, shield castle. I would call it shield wall, but... Uh, but yeah, the shield, uh, the shield wall ability. <laughs> I don't know what... I would call it a wall rather than a castle. Uh, just, maybe it's just me. And you can see the design of the various uh, units. And I, I do love the design. Like, I, I, I like that the shields are kind of painted differently. People uh, kind of look unique. There's different... Like, people don't look completely identical. Uh, their helms have certain kind of differences, like there are different design helms, different designs on their shields in some of them. Like, obviously some are repeated, but overall, some decent amount of customization. Oh, look at these badasses. Yes. Okay, so these, this is the kind of the elite of the elite. The royal champions, which are, have male armor. Okay, we'll keep the horsemen over here. I'll take these out of the shield wall at the moment, because it's going to be unlikely they're going to be able to, um fight in that formation right away and we'll start the battle and then it will play like pretty standard total war battles it's, it's exactly what you expect from an historical total war very traditional in terms of the gameplay okay looks like they're starting to come closer to me already attacking the general are they okay so our archers will fire we'll go into the shield castle target their archers and target their scout horsemen we'll get our horsemen out on the flank and their cavalry charging my shield castle you fools Okay, so, uh, you kind of saw how they're fighting, like, overhand, like that. That's kind of how I was trained to fight with the, with the, with the spear in, uh, when I used to do Anglo-Saxon reenactments. So I appreciate the, the realistic kind of combat they've done there. Anyway, I'll focus on actually winning. Here we go. Uh, so they are going to, oh yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're getting the uh, the scouts. Actually, let's let's charge in the rear of the spearmen. Let's let's completely annihilate the rest of their force before we butcher their royal companions. Okay, so they're being charged. They're losing the combat. Honestly, the soundtrack is amazing. As with most Total War games, the soundtrack is always on point. I am encountering a few glitches, but I think that's I've been having major problems with my PC since I purchased it. So if there are performance issues, I don't think it's actually down to the game. See, that, that, that kind of pausing and stuttering there, I think that's down to my PC. I imagine if I actually turned V-Sync on, that seems to solve a lot of my issues all the time. Usually. Decisive victory. I mean, that 
that battle isn't really meant to be a challenge. You're just killing some rebels. And I fought as I would have done um, if I it, probably in the time period. Former shield walls, the shield walls clash. Uh, well, I gained an advantage at the flanks, and bam, the, the battle's over. That's also, I, I don't know if it, it must be in the game, but some units would have formed like a boar snout, uh, kind of like a triangle, and that boar snout would have been used to try and pierce the enemy's shield wall. The boar snout was just, you know, people, one person had to f form the start of the wedge, and, and the rest had to kind of attack with it. So if you were the person at the head of the boar snout, oh man. You're probably in for a bad time. Or you're just like a berserker, full of rage. Alright, well that was that. Uh, I will... I will kill the captives. Oh, they survived, really? I'll just do the auto-resolve. We're balanced. Like, we're, we're gonna kill him, obviously. Uh, and then... There you go. That's the blood pack that is DLC. Unless you own Attila. Then you get it for free. Or is it if you own the... I think it might be if you own Attila's blood pack? I, I can't quite remember. I'll double check. Sorry, it's if you own the uh, blood and burning pack for Attila, then you, then you get this one for free. Okay, so they want us to capture Mamecaster, which is Manchester. And where is Mamecaster? Up here. They want us to go to war with Northumbria, the Kingdom of Northumbria. And we have skills available for Chaowulf. This I don't remember. Oh, we have a Gammy arm. We have infamous attacker. We have decent personality traits. Wow, this is nice. We could divorce our wife. I'm not going to. Okay, so this is what we could upgrade. We can get various uh, followers. Uh, I'm going to go for the extra campaign movement range. I've found that this, uh, in terms of moving the units, it takes a while to get anywhere in, in my experience. But again, this is, I haven't played this for years. Our family tree. Oh, there's a family tree. Okay, so that's our brother. You want to seek a wife? She's sensible. Go on then. So we have a daughter at the moment. Oh, oh, and a son. And a son. We've got Will Thrift. Governors and estates. We've got various candidates that want to become governors, but I think we're okay for now. The summary here. Very nice. So overall, it's very nicely designed, and I think I'm going to... What's my public order at the moment here? Uh, it's cloth and food production. Okay. So we'll get a sheep herd in Scrobsburg. I would like to keep public order alive, but I should probably upgrade to get an extra garrison in uh, Tamworth, my capital here. And I don't think we're at war with anyone. They're not fans of me. Does anyone like me? Hello? Gwynedd, the Welsh hate me. Not surprising. The West Saxons sort of like me. Okay, that was intriguing, yet they reject me. Cool, 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 cool. Defensive pact? Insulting, oh wow. So they like me up here. Treaty of friendship. Uh, would you like to be, okay, you wouldn't like to be my vassal kingdom? Uh, the diplomacy is, is pretty much uh, identical to that of, I think, Attila. There may be more options we get as we go along, maybe, but I think newer Total War games have kind of done diplomacy a bit better. Oh, okay. Uh, the Welsh have decided to declare war on me. Okay, and they're joined by Gwynedd. Okay, brilliant. That's going to be a problem. The influence of one of your nobles now exceeds that of your king. Wow, okay, so... After turn one, uh, Godwin already has more influence than myself. That's not great. And he's only got three out of ten loyalty. I'm going to try and ensure the loyalty of Godwin. Uh, I could torture him. Yeah. Don't rebel against me, Godwin. You will regret it. Okay, so I'll have to go to Caster and uh, increase my replenishment of my troops, I think. And at last I can recruit units. Ah, so we can actually get a wide variety of units at the moment. Uh, so, ooh, Thanes. Those would be very nice to have in the shield wall. But I think I'll have to get some um, cavalry. And we're going to have to keep an eye on our, our our food as we need to feed them, unfortunately. Cool. That's all I'm going to be able to get. Uh, and something I do actually like about this is that, is that it takes time for your units to, to muster. Um... Which is why I did that extra replenishment. We are at war with with a lot of whales. Like this is this is not going to be pleasant. Uh, we'll do what we can though. So let's move that force down there on his little horsey horse. So I do want to capture Manchester, uh, but I do need to at least. Oh oh ah! I hadn't actually looked at this screen before. Okay, so it was Seinhelm that wanted an agricultural estate, right? There we go. But now I'm on a food shortage because I did that. So Chelwolf, how much loyalty does Seinhelm have? He's got five. Uh, how much does Godwin have? He's got six. All right, so I'll take that away from Godwin. So I still have enough food. 
Okay. But I need to kind of get that farming stuff sorted out. But I, I did grant the other one to that other dude, I think. So we'll just wait for a turn before they try and... Uh, well, we'll see where the, where the Welsh try and strike. Okay, there are actually various, like, balancing acts that I hadn't really seen that much before. I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Not the Welsh attacking me so much. So that's the King of Scotland... Uh, King of Wales' army there, right, which I won't be able to stop. Uh, what about this dude? We may be able to stop this dude. And I'm going to threaten, because I think in Caster we probably have a decent garrison, no? Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that size garrison. I don't, I don't think Caster can fall very easily to the Welsh, so we're actually going to go for a little uh, strike down here while we're still replenishing. Oh, they're marching out to meet me. It is like an identical uh, uh, army, I think. They have Welsh levies and Welsh archers. I have uh, Gael archers and, yeah, just, just peasants. We'll give it a go. On Thrones of Britannia, as you can see, it's fairly difficult to maintain large armies, at least especially in the early game, which is actually, you know, uh, accurate to the time period as well. There didn't used to be huge standing armies. Various lords would have their thanes, which would be their their kind of elite troops, and then and then they'd raise the majority of their troops from the fjord, which are the, you know the farmers, etc. Okay, so they're charging in the peasants. I have the royal companions. And then we'll see the uh, shield wolves kind of just fight and see whoever gets victory, really. Oh, I love the Welsh banner in back there. Oh, never mind. They're running away. Okay, so we uh, annihilated their cavalry in the end, I guess. Uh, we will pursue them. Oh, they've come back. Probably not for long. So their archers are better than mine. Unsurprisingly, the Welsh archers, famed for their quality and skill. I think we can just speed this up now. This is going to be a foregone conclusion. Oh, their cavalry came back. Interesting. I guess we might take out a Welsh general. There we go. The enemy general is dead and we've gained victory. Good. Ah, that's what the Welsh get when they come and do more than a cattle raid. Okay, if they've occupied me, I'll occupy them. Uh, then I think we'll pursue this Welsh force and just do a cheeky auto, I think. Oh, yeah, there we go. Bye-bye. Yeah, so the V-Sync, turning on V-Sync has helped out my performance it seems it's, it's been a bit smoother since then also Gwynedd has sailed their army round and i presume they're going to siege us here oh that would be that would be amazing if they come for us i would love to see that go on attack caster you welsh <coughs> overall i think i'm really enjoying this now compared to uh oh okay a thousand troops versus 900 of mine uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh uh -oh. Welsh levies, Welsh levies. I have Sayax warriors, Thanes, levies, scout horsemen and Thane horsemen. They have scout horsemen. Oh, they've got a lot of javelins and archers, though. Okay, I guess we... This may decide the fate of Mercia. <laughs> oh. Sweats. Okay, I have better command and zeal. Uh, this little upstart. Battle maps are kind of barren sometimes which i guess is okay um now why don't i go up onto the hill and let them attack me up here yes alex i think that's going to be a lovely strat to uh dominate the ai good so our battle line's going to be fairly small i'm going to keep chell wolf in as a uh reserve everyone's going to go into the shield wall or as they like to call it a shield castle and we let them come up they're over here! Oh, they've even done the Welsh accents. Lovely. It is over, Welshman! I have the high ground! Next to the Welsh village we just captured, I believe. We'll just try and fire at the archers. Actually, do you know what? Get behind. You're no use to me dead, archers. We are taking a few casualties. But they're having to run up this hill. They're tiring themselves out. The thanes just in their little shield wall holding the flank. Just 67 of them. I love the shield walls. Okay, they're going to attack the line, I think. I hope. I'm just going to try and hold here for now. As they're, they're packing them in. There we go. Okay, so their scout horsemen are committed. I guess we'll try and use my cavalry here. Most of their units are committed. I will send... I'm not going to bother chasing them yet. They're going to get flanked. Right in the buttocks! Okay, that's already caused a bit of a flight from their end. We'll chase those archers down. Pin them over here. Start flanking around. Break free from our shield there. I'd rather these don't die just yet. Ah, uh, never mind. They've routed. Okay, so we've lost that cavalry unit. The Thanes have just been kind of shot to hell, really, which is unfortunate. I think we've kind of annihilated both these archers. We'll just take a few more seconds to finish them off. But I think where we've flanked them so much, uh, they've kind of, well, they came right into my trap, really. 
It's going to take the Welsh a little while to kind of recover from this defeat, I hope. It's a shame I wasn't able to get the enemy general, but that went very nicely. I mean, I lost ooh, a third of my army, but I think they lost more than me. Look at the Welsh bodies littering the hill. Of course, take this performance with a grain of salt. I'm just playing on normal. I would usually play Total War games on hard. Bam! The king is slaughtering the well. Whoa, 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 beheading. And then I'll go and take um, Scrobsburg back. Thank you very much. Oh, they're besieging Caster! Yes! So we've got nine units and they've brought 13 and not all of them are equipped. Hmm. Okay. Well, if they're going to besiege me, I'll besiege them. Yeah. I outnumber them and they're going to siege me. Let's see what the siegers are like in Thrones of Britannia. I imagine, I don't remember them very well, but I imagine they're going to be really nice. Oh, we're in a fortified town. We're a Burr! We're, uh, you know, uh, those were the fortified Anglo-Saxon towns that Alfred was famous for building. The Burrs, kind of like fortified either hilltops or fortified uh, towns to kind of keep the, the Vikings at bay. I think what they've kind of styled this on is like the Roman walls, because Anglo-Saxons didn't really have massive stone wall structures. Like, Caister was a... This would have had a big Roman wall still standing, I believe, but... I know this is kind of a poor choice to kind of defend the walls. I'd be better off just kind of trying to defend this area. But I want to kind of show off a decent siege, even if I lose. Let them come up! So at the moment, I'm just trying to uh, hold the walls. I was hoping the Thanes would perform a bit better than they currently are, but... We're sending in reinforcements and I think we're starting to hack and slash them down. Oh. Sirs, I say, you're about to regret that. <laughs> oh, lovely. Good, 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 good. The AI didn't build enough uh, siege equipment. I'm a little unsure what's going on here. Oh, they are just destroying the gate. I think it's a bit buggy. But hey, I'll take it. And then when they come in here, they're just going to face a, a, a shield wall of spearmen. So, a bit buggy there. It's kind of confusing. This, this siege is a bit underwhelming compared to kind of what I was expecting. The battle's very much in my favour. The, the Welsh have just thrown themselves with, with one siege tower. Um... This is a bit uncomfortable. I, I, I don't know what else to say. This is just a bit weird. Like, I, I don't know why the AI is just... Again, they're just staying here and not really doing a whole lot. Oh, our gates are destroyed now. There we go. So they made it just do a final attack through the gates, of which they'll die. And they're retreating through my city rather than out the way they came. Uh, and then we win. That was underwhelming, but that's how you win a Total War Siege, really. Uh, the AI has never been very good with doing sieges, I would say. And Thrones of Britannia in this circumstance, is um, the same. I don't think that's going to be representative of, of sieges on the whole, though. Hopefully, I've just encountered a bit of a meh one. I do like that they've used the uh, Anglo-Saxon names, or the regional names that they probably would have been in, in the time. Oh, it can show the preview of the battle map. Let's see if it's any different to the one we just played on. Oh, this is the more... This is kind of what I wanted to see. Yes. Well, um, I don't think this is going to go particularly well, but let's just see... I just want to see what another siege battle is like. Obviously, this video isn't isn't me about trying to win the campaign. It's more just getting a feel for what the game is. And this siege looks like it could be a heck of a lot of fun. So let's give it a go. Okay, so what does this look like? They've got their first layer of defenses to get through. Then you can be able to break through their second layer of defenses. Make your way through the rest of the city to get to the final uh, stronghold. So this is just a massive, massive siege map. This is gorgeous. This is what you... Oh, no! You have to go all the way up through a third layer. Oh, wow. This is just a huge defender's dream. Wow. So you could just let the rest of the city fall and let your AI chums just try and go up there. Uh, Great. Okay, so those Wells archers are going to be very dangerous until I can get some... Uh, troops on the walls, which I hope we can do sooner rather than later, because that's already going to cost me a lot of troops. Apparently we've got a huge advantage, which I wouldn't have necessarily agreed with, personally. Oh, wow! Holy moly! I haven't seen that before! They actually sallied out! Huh! Well, this is chaotic. Alright, let's get the cavalry back. We're sending in more troops. No! Well, they're in. They're in, too. Uh, so everyone else can just, um... Charge in. All right. They're running. Okay, so what? They don't have many troops left now. Very nice. If you're going to play sieges in this, you might want to do multiplayer if you want big epic sieges. I think against the AI, it's just... Again, I'm playing on normal, so that's probably got something to do with it. But I was expecting to lose a lot more. But hey-ho! 
that's the way the cookie crumbles. And there we just took control of, I guess, the Welsh capital. Um, but I think that's going to be it for the kind of like a a relook at at the game. I've only done, I don't know, I've only done a, a moderate amount of turns. But from what I can tell, I'm enjoying it a lot more than than when it first released in 2018. I imagine they may, I think they did a couple of big uh, overhauls, of, or at least one big overhaul, which really did help improve the game. But so far, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying Thrones of Britannia. I, I think I would reevaluate the score that I gave it at the start of this video, which I think was like between, what, 5 to 6.5? And I think I'd raise that to at least a 7.5 out of 10. I would say that if this is on sale, and if you're looking for a historical game that you might not have played yet give thrones of britannia a try uh, especially if you can get it in one of the big total war sales that happen every now and then i might actually return to this and and um play a bit more of it in the future uh, but what do you think of thrones of britannia let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video of course comment like and subscribe uh if there is anything that i missed in the video of course let me know what i've missed but until next time everyone toodaloo Many thanks to Turquoise Zom, Onion Duck, Stuka J, Sean Zoltek, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Jack Trochu, D Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, Ryan Nelson, Valhalla Halls, Vash, and Warren P. George for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!